This is the place to go for anime, manga, comics, video games, all pop culture information. This is the place that you need to be. This program is brought to you by Black and Studios Entertainment Division. Remember, it's Black and. Oh, yeah. You're listening to the Elijah Bailey Show, Oklahoma's favorite podcast. Yeah. 100% auditorial pleasure. Dig it. And three, two, one. Welcome back and welcome to all of our new viewers to the podcast from God's Own Wood, the Elijah Bailey Show, where we believe the Saint Seiya has some of the best damn fights. And Attack on Titan, along with Demon Slayer, just keeps hitting the right spots. But today, I hope you have a damn big ass glass of milk or water because we're about to get spicy. We have the CEO of Spicy Lady Productions and Entertainment here with us today to talk comics, anime, manga, and today is our video game episode, but today is also f- a February day, February 12th, if you're watching live on Twitch. Uh, if you're watching live, you're either on twitch.tv forward slash Elijah underscore 5000, or you're on the Facebook page at Edge Gaming or EJB Gaming, Edge B Gaming. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys are listening to it now, you can always join us live at 4.30 p.m. Central Standard Time on Sunday. But today is a Saturday and it's 2 p.m. So it feels like I'm lying to you. But with such a special guest, we had to do this on a special day. That's that's all it is. It's like specialness. Plus, it's February. It's Black History Month. And as you can see, your screen is filled with black beauty and black excellence. So make sure to strap your seatbelts in because we're going to dive in today's show. If you're new... We have three major segments. Segment one, we cover the releases. And since this is a video game episode, we will tell you the video game releases for this month. Then after that, we're going off script because we want to get into this entrepreneur's life as she has. She's a YouTuber. Um, Anything with the Uber in it. She is a YouTuber, uh, a streamer, freelance writer, cosplayer, podcaster, dancer. It's all there. Um, Not even a jack of all trades, just a master of every damn thing. Um, And we also have our very final segment, our third segment that we are going to highlight. That'll be our anime and manga of the month. We're not changing it. It's going to be the same two that we've been talking about, but just want to give them to you one more time so you don't forget what you should watch and what you should read this month because we're giving it to you. One selection is from me. The other one is from the Buckety. Uh, He wants to make sure that you and your children and your family are watching the right kind of anime. That's all he ever wants like that and some wine. Do you have wine with you, sir? Yes, sir. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. This is what he does. Uh, That's the way to get into the right mantra. The right mantra. (laughs) Meat. Is it meat or wine? This is wine. Okay. I I looked at my my jugs of mead and I was like, man, I might have to hit up Cassandra and get some more. My my mead is gone. Um, This is uh, this is my seven moons mixed with a little bit of um, I went rogue and did a monster. Uh, white pineapple and i hate monsters i hate it i hate them i hate them as somebody that worked at coke i'm running on so many fumes right now you're probably gonna die later i don't have enough well that's already planned that's already given Uh, that i'm going to die later. it's gonna be horrible because the inside like when they cut you open they'll be like what the hell did this boy drink that's their problem as long as i can enjoy my present Mm -hmm. time then by golly that's rock and roll. Bye, go. And thank Bye, you again for joining us, Miss Spicy That's Lady. Like Josh coming out of me. <laughs> oh, don't do not do that. <laughs> for having me. Oh, no I problem. Gonna, I was going to say, in middle school, uh, you know, me drunk a lot of monsters, so that's probably still sitting in my system. Mm, <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. Even after it is now every- coated. In your veins. That's mm. how bad it is. You know, that's why I'm I'm vegetarian, trying to be vegan now, because mm. I'm trying to get all that oh, no. out of there. <laughs> oh, no. She had to do the extreme. Yeah, but well, she said something I want to ask her about real quick. Okay. So what does it mean to... Mm. I feel like people like us say that term a lot, trying to be vegan. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, people like so, us? So... Well, because I've used that word quite a bit. That That's Anytime why Calvin thinks clean. you're 100% vegan. Yeah, that's why yeah. he thinks I'm 100 <laughs> vegan, but in you know, reality, I'm like, oh, I just try. I try. I try way. as hard as I can. It's expensive. It's expensive oh, yeah. being vegan. That's why I'm like, I, I try. You know, and even as a vegetarian, I'd be trying. I'd be dipping in pescatarian. <laughs> you love seafood, but I'm and really that's the fish, to, right? 
Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. So I'm, trying, I'm trying to zero on a vegetarian and you know go to vegan, but it's it's real. It's expensive. It's nice being in the middle here because like I can <laughs> at least eat cheese and everything else. You know. Like, Are you not chicken and beef and pork out? Yeah, no. I that was a long time ago. Um, because I just my body wasn't reacting to it the way it used to anymore. So mm, I was I like feel that. out. So I only I didn't eat red meats because it was but and I eat chicken. Then I just like I kind of want to take that out too. And I just stick to vegetarian and mm-hmm. I never went back. Really, I congratulations. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> Cause I can't, I can't do it. And as a man that says, uh, it's mind over matter. I'm, well, I'm just not going to do it. Let's just say that. Like, yeah, I'm about to say, you when, could do it. You just choose not to do it. When I get turned into a zombie, I'm going to be prepared. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be, cause I feel like if you get changed, you'll be like, Ugh, Ugh. she'd be having trouble. Just to, like, you got to eat or you're not going to move. You're going to I'm going to be like, Hey, Hey, buck. I'm sorry, bro. That's cannibalism at that point. It's, it's the way well, I, I'll, be, it's I'll be just, turned to a zombie at that point. Now. I'll be a zombie at that point. I'm not going to do it now. Like, uh, see, now you're putting too many things out there in the air. Well, let's go t- to the show because <laughs> uh, I feel like if Leon was in chat, he'd be saying some right now. Um, but, <laughs> folks, as you can hear, the music in the background has been brought to you by Rifty Beach. You can find him on YouTube and also Spotify as a playlist. And this is actually from his Final Fantasy VII uh, playlist. This is breezy, that little chocobo music. And I wanted to keep it nice and breezy because after this, we're going to heat things up. But let's dive into the uh, video game releases for this month. Again, like I said, we're recording the show. Today is the 12th of February. So the first few titles will already be out and drop, which I've been talking to people about. And there's some that if you haven't picked them up, you might need to go ahead and pick them up now. But when we get to the releases that are coming later this week, put them this on your calendar. Month. This is this a heavy is. month. Yeah, normally this I don't feel real. like... We don't usually like have this month, this much. Springtime, springtime gets a little aggressive, but February... This this is this is a very aggressive February hit. I haven't seen it was one like a, this aggressive in a while. This like this is most of the big games everybody's looking for this exactly. year. Exactly. Yeah. It's like right here. Mm-hmm. So let's go ahead and dive into right this. Here, I'm, I'm looking, looking at the show notes. Screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm looking at the show notes. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, let's go through these real quick, and then we'll all talk about any of the titles that uh, are ringing bells in your ears. Cause I know there's a couple I want to talk about with you guys. We'll just throw them back into the convo, but. Uh, these are all the releases that have already dropped and should be out right now. February 1st, we had Life is Strange Remaster Collection for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S and Switch. February 2nd was The Waylanders from PC, for the PC. February 4th was Dying Light 2 Stay Human for the PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X. Uh, we had two titles for February 8th. I'm going to save the best for last. But we had Ali Ali World for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S and Switch. Then we had Sifu for Sifu PC. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah People have been hitting. You play Sifu yet? Yeah. And I'm like, not yet, but it's just... Mm. 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 It looks beautiful, but PC, PS4, PS5. Um, we had two for February 10th, uh, Crossfire X for Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S. And then we also had Known by Heart on PC that dropped February 10th. And February 11th was Lost Ark for the PC. Now the releases that are coming out later this week, February 15th, we have Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires, which is making me want to jump back into the series. I for- really feel like 9 mm. is a stretch, like. There's no way. No, they're don't. Just all okay, no, no because way. they stopped that's for a like, while and like they did the Gundam. My age. Nah, I bumped that. I don't believe it. There's no way they're on nine. They're if on Final nine. Fantasy is on like fifteen. Okay, let me, no let me let me say this. Let me say this. One Piece Pirate Warriors is on four. That's different. Dynasty. Warrior, it's Dynasty Warrior style though. Even if people don't play video games, have heard the name Dynasty Warriors. There's no way that they're just on. Go ahead. I'm, I'm, about, I, I I'm about to fact check them. I'm about okay. To look okay. At the so Dynasty Warriors now is Empire for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and Switch. Or Switch. Uh, February seventeenth, uh, we have three tiles: Assassin's Creed, the Ezio Auditore Collection for the Switch. Uh, we also have the King of Fighters. 
um, PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X and S. And then we have Total War, uh, Warhammer 3 for PC. February 18th, we have Horizon uh, Forbidden West for PC or PS4 and PS5. Yeah, I got to get that one. Uh, February 22nd, we have Destiny 2, The Witch Queen, PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and Stadia for some reason. It's still there. Also, we have Monarch for PC, PS4, PS5, and Switch on February 22nd. Uh, one title, February 24th, we have uh, Martha is Dead. Oh, it sounds like a, a Batman yeah, like Superman a wanna, title. Uh, I actually kind of want to uh, watch you play that game. I bet you would. Uh, PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X. Uh, we have two titles for the 25th. Elden Ring for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S. And Grind Legends, PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X. And then to be announced, Blood Bowl 3 is supposed to drop sometime in February. Same uh, consoles, PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S plus the Switch. So let's go. Uh, anything that you guys heard that uh, you guys are dying to play right now. So Dynasty Warrior 9 is true. Yeah, um, figured, figured. So. Yeah, they started in 97, mm. and mm. they have mm. been at a, at a unique pace. Their pacing is weird, but they haven't made a game since 2013. Dynasty I, I mean, if you look so. at Final Fantasy and a couple other, you know, Kingdom no, Hearts. They're, they're, they're pacing super strange. But anyways, let's not, I'm not, I don't even give them the energy, because I feel like it's not even a... I don't know. I, before I talk bad about the game, I, I definitely want to check it out. Um, <laughs> How are you going to raise uh, all this shit? What about you? Like, mm. let, me, let me let Spicy go first. What, <laughs> okay, what, yeah, what, yeah. what games on this list um, is it was screaming out to you? Ollie, Ollie World, because I, I remember I'm doing my research for um, like black developers, whatever. I just saw mm. this game. I was like, oh, this game looks kind of lit. Like, you know, I love the the like adventure time aesthetic animation type thing and just very colorful. So I'm going to check it um, out then. So oh, I'm looking at it now. Yeah, it looks really cute. The music is really cute. Like just the whole, you know, brown characters. I'm like, okay, this looks up my alley. Yeah, um, it's like the whole the whole crew is black or brown. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh wow. shit. Okay. Like yeah. cannon busters. Mixed in, yeah, mixed in with uh, like some. I see like an alien, different species. But as far as all mm -hmm. the humans, they're all brown. That's that's. Oh, I gotta definitely check this out. So there's that. Um, I don't know. I I heard Martha is Martha is dead. I know it's like a hard game um <laughs> I want to see what that's about maybe um i saw there was a like, controversy saying it was getting like um they were like toning it toning it down or censoring it or something like that so Ugh, I do, do you do well with the horror thing. games look look i don't i don't do horror in my channel we do, <laughs> we, do, we do a little thriller you know but i, I you know i'm more of like a fighter you know shoot em up gal you know i don't how how horror or how thriller do you get yeah, like what's what's your? I do low psychological like thrillers and horror, like like anything like up like um us whatever all that. Like I love psychological thr like thrillers and horror. Like okay. I, I do, but like horror and like like so, Resident Evil is Resident Evil too much? Oh no 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 that's that because that's action. Like I can shoot them up, you know. But it's oh, like, Buck, she like, got your number. Yeah, she got she got me beat. Resident yeah. Evil too far for me. I ain't going that far. Oh, I can't do it. No, uh, -uh. See, no. I am a big crybaby. Catherine's where I I I. I Catherine's that is that's it for me. Catherine mm -hmm. is that's my that's my peak. I ain't going beyond that. And that's just a puzzle <laughs> game. And that game had me traumatized for weeks. That's true. <laughs> it's more like those like horror exploration ones where you're like, you know, going to like houses and exploring secrets. So it's like that shit that you know damn well like, ain't no black person should be exactly. playing this game. <laughs> I ain't got exactly. no business playing this game. Like, I can't even run in this game. It's not realistic to me, and I'm not. I don't care to search for clues because I don't care. I'm not Scooby Doo. <laughs> exactly. Hey. I got but it. Like action. If I'm if I ain't prepared, if I got like assault rifles and stuff, you know, okay, oh, you know, do a little action, you know. But I'm not exploring nowhere. I'm not mm -mm, I'm not talking to spirits. I'm killing. Mm. I feel you on that. Okay, okay, <laughs> got it, got it. <laughs> Can't talk on experience Buck, you, on that because we won't be there for you. <laughs> Buck, you don't even care if you got a gun, a grenade. You like, nah, bro. I ain't gonna be here. I ain't even gonna be here. Like, I can't even try to figure this out. I can do Destiny. I can do all these other games. But the, the Last of Us, like, I feel like the Last of Us, like something like that could happen where you have to be on the move and be watching. Like, you the could Last do that. Of us, 
for me, The Last of Us, when I was trying to replay like the remaster edition, mm-hmm. it, for me, it just didn't age well. Mm-hmm. So I just really wasn't just feeling it. Um, a part two, though. Yeah, part two looks gorgeous. Yeah, but I'm, I'm I'm so old now, dude. Like Clippers. I'm realizing my gaming experience is just is completely different, different than what it used to be. Yeah. You know, it's it's weird that you talk about that because there's certain things like all the anime tiles. Like you, as soon as we were getting the games, the game exchange and like doing the imports and stuff, like anything with anime, I'm like, I got to get on it. But and which that that's the weird part because with anime, it's it's the complete opposite. Like mm. I can jump on new anime mm-hmm. just fine, fine and still go rewatch some old stuff. But with video games, I don't know if it's because of time and I just don't have like that dedicated True. time to. To sit down and that's really why you gotta start streaming it. again. Bro. As you see, it took me like a year just to beat like you know Final Fantasy Seven. But it also took just, you like three years to turn off an alarm for a movie you already saw. So that's like that just butt true. style. That is true. Hey, yeah, I haven't, true. I haven't finished DMC Five yet. So you know. Just, you, know. you know what? I'm I'm right there with I you. That's the that's the <laughs> only Devil May Cry I that have I haven't yet finished. And I was having fun, but I just I was like that. This one boss fight was just like. I so was it just it got hard? Is what just kind of had you like, eh, let me just That's put this on the back burner? Was or was like, the story just not as gripping as the I, previous? I, I like the story. I, I like everything. It's just, I don't know. I guess I, at the time, I had a lot going on to where I'm like, this takes, I have to focus a lot to play this. And I was like, I need, I need to, I need to take a break. But no, fact. I, I need to get back to it. I, Cause I, I have, I was having fun. I love Nero. I love the way he plays. So I was, I really was really trying to, Upgrade his skills the best I could, but I was like, this that one the the guy sitting on the throne, I forgot who that was, but him, I was like, this this ain't beatable. Like yeah. I gotta jump because he he got the whole like ground by his control. Like, dude, I'm I'm right there with you because I went back to try to play uh, Devil May Cry one and the spider, the very first boss. I was like, yo, what is business. y'all? What are y'all doing? This dude's block like I'm. I can't spoil Demon Slayer, but this motherfucker must have been like from Muzin's like own blood because he was like, I'm like, damn, this is this is really how y'all how did I beat this before? I had to take a break and <laughs> get a pep talk from Stone before I went back in there. <laughs> well, all right, let's switch out these guns, a little bit of roll and then shot. Right. And yeah, you got to be moving. Um, but let's keep going. Were there any other titles on the list uh, that you saw that uh, you guys are excited about? Either one of you? Besides uh, Ali Ali World, which I got to check out. Um, um, I know what was super dope is I was actually, before I came up here this morning, I had uh, reinstalled Assassin's Creed, the Black Flag. Mm, I just so reinstalled good. it back Old on the Edward. Xbox. Yeah, but uh, I'm excited about Elden Ring. Um, yeah, that looks beautiful. Even though, even though I, th- th- you know, that's not my really cup of tea, but it looks gorgeous. Yeah. And, you know, even the action that comes behind it, I, th- I think it's, I'm excited to see what that game brings out. Me too. But, Again, see and of course King of Fighters. You know, oh, yeah. I probably won't buy sixty dollars King of Fighters. I don't know too many people who drop sixty for King of Fighters. But when I see it on Game Pass, best believe I am. I down. will show up. No, I'm, I'm yes, down. I will show. Up. I will show up. <laughs> um, what about yeah. you, Lud? I'm trying to Horizon. Think, I didn't care yeah, about Horizon, Horizon the first one. Keep going. Oh, I did. I want the Horizon Forbidden West. That one is just like the, the narrative story, and then the 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 world that they built is just so interesting. I'm like, dude, I, I want to continue this. So, um, dying light too, you know, stay human. Um, that actually looks fun. I ain't going to lie. Oh, like, yeah. even though that's not my cup of tea, I know you need to dive into it. it, but I, I was watching some gameplay of it. And I was just like, yeah. like, especially yeah. if you got a group of friends mm-hmm. on it. Like, mm-hmm. I think, I think that might be kind of fun. It's like this generation's left for dead, you know? Yeah. That's that's like, how I kind of feel. I might, I might, I'm, I wouldn't mind streaming that with some other people. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna hold yeah. you to that. I'm gonna hold you to that. Spicy heard it. Everybody heard it. Hey. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll, 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 I might stream that. I'll be there too with some other people. <laughs> with so, oh, just like you Don't did. Don't have uh, me going there by my damn self. I don't be pissed. Uh, back for blood when it was you and Josh and Brandon. Yeah, in, in that uh, game, that really wasn't scary. It was just more like, see, let me break it down. When okay. when. when I get scared. It's not like I'm actually scared. It's just like, oh shit, that's not me being scared. I'm not scared of someone like coming into the room or something falling in the sky. It's just going, it's going to catch me off guard. Oh shit. Uh -uh. That's all that game was. That game was just like, oh shit, what's up, player? I didn't see you there. It Hmm. wasn't like, oh, oh, I'm I'm scared. I'm freaking out. It's just like, you know, I think, you know, 
me as being a, 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 a Negro. That's just that's just what it catches me off guard. That's all it is. So I'm I not gonna lie. All. I think I told this story on the show when I would jump back into uh, Resident Evil Biohazard and the daddy came around the corner. I was like, oh, shit, what is he doing over here? And I ain't got no weapons. Boy, you better be glad yeah, that, that was. moment, <laughs> you were scared. That's yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's God different scares. from. That's, yeah, that's that, that that's one where that's I'm going legit. old school. Yeah. Like my grandma, I got the razor blade in one hand, ice pick. Like, come on, because we it was both of us is leaving right now today. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to be the only one. Um, but th- that wraps up all the video game releases, guys. Uh, make sure play it. Just rewind it. Play it back if you guys miss anything. But I, there's a lot of exciting titles. Like you said, this is a big month for video games. So I'm excited. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I got to get through before I make some new purchases. But I am very, very excited about these games. I've been talking to, uh, you know, Crazy John, the ex. Well, I can't really put his title out there. Ex military special personnel. He's been on me every day about Elden Ring and Dying Light 2. He's like, bro, I'm already, I'm playing it right now. I'm like 60 hours in. I'm like, John, you you go crazy on these games, but I understand you need to kill something <laughs> to stay flatline normal. Um, now, last week we had Keith Watkins from Concept Moon, the creator of Black Lotus Dragon in, and he picked oh. our <laughs> Talia Say character, uh, which was TJ from uh, Opera Ramen. Uh, Apare, Apare Ramen? Apare Ramen. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're saying that wrong. Yeah, Apare, yeah, yeah. Correct. And that's why I was like, hey, Keith, how do you say it? Keith said, man, let me be honest with you. I don't really, it's, it's Japanese. I don't know how to say it the right way. I'm like, boy, you make them both the way. I'm going to do what I do all, all of our generation. Exactly. We're going to say how it feels right to mm-hmm. say it. Oh, you know, Brucey? Brute, oh, you mean... You mean Tandro? Oh yeah, that's Bruce. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to say his name. He looked like Batman, you know, I but in his Bruce. in his weak form. Like Batman, it's it, Batman doesn't have a weak form. He just acts like it. And then it leads to another conversation. But we have a Talia say character today, and I'm just gonna hit. I'm just gonna t- let everybody know who this character is, like what their name is, and then if you don't mind giving us some of the bona fides for this phenomenal woman. Spicy lady, because you picked her and I have had so many conversations within this last month about why she is the leader of the X-Men, why she is everything, a goddess, a queen. We have, and I'm going to give her her full respect. We have Aurora Monroe, a.k.a. Storm, a.k.a. Beautiful Windrider, a.k.a. Blue Emma Frost when she swapped minds, a.k.a. the goddess Hadera, a.k.a. the high priestess the horseman of life la reine storm the french version the mistress of the elements mutant 20 aurora equade t'challa aurora como wakanda's princess of nadir queen of aurora of wakanda regent of soul ra sister storm sister voodoo weather which also is a code name for her and storm but the last name she went by was not only the white king but the wind rider we're talking about storm baby i think i got some applause there we go i got the kids screaming for her please please because i i've been bro i've been i've been um thank blessed for my job Uh, you know we get to i get to talk about comics so it's like I, i was been catching up on sword and just how they're putting storm into a ruler position over Mars. And I'm really loving her, her be herself. And it's a lot of references to, um, the time she left the X-Men and, um, shaved her Mohawk and changed into that eighties grunge. and was like, I am not that stormy once new. I, I'd be out here fighting with knives. Like, I am who I am and just how the whole X-Men shook. They're like, what is happening? Who is this Storm? Like, even Kitty Pryde threw a little hissy face, but Storm got her right together. And, you know, but it's like just, she's just such a leader. And I I love how you, you see those references to the 70s version of her till now and just seeing her just be in a position that she was supposed to be in all along. And having everyone else say, even said, they're like, yeah, Storm, this is. This seems like you, but also her holding her grounds to people who try to come for her, mm. um, i.e. Doom and <laughs> anyone else, you know, who try. So I just, I just love her, her character. I feel she's a wonderful um, black woman representation in comics, and I'm really loving where they have her right now. Um, I'm excited to see more for her from her, especially with what T'Challa did, um, you know, and his, and his, and his little, and his 
series and seeing how he needs. I'm not gonna talk about that. But <laughs> I'm just excited just to see like what the future to hold with Storm. But uh, mm. this woman. <laughs> oh yeah, like when oh. she can go up and tell like Charles, like no, you, you're not the leader of the X Men. You might come up, like you might look on the map and say, hey, you need to go here, but you you are not the leader. You sit at home. <laughs> She told she told Cyclops was like, look, you're you're mistreating your wife and your baby. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, get you can't you are not fit to be leader and I could beat you. And she did. Like, yeah. you know, oh, like yeah. she held she it down. She's the only one who can keep Wolverine in line. Cyclops can't do that. Cyclops just like mm. she keeps everyone in line and not in the way that people think by just being who she is, being graceful, being understanding, compassionate, but also still being very firm in what needs to be done. And I think that's that's one hundred. That's why she became an Avenger. And yeah. then she left, and she was like, "Oh, y'all going to war with my mutants? Y'all crazy!" And then she let like she doesn't like she will leave a group because she's like, "I don't care." Like mm-hmm. my mutants are my family. Like they be wilding, but they're my family. Like that's just how it is. So. She's a strong, strong black queen right there. Mm-hmm. I tell yeah. you, a strong black queen yeah. right there. I tell you. Uh, I have we have we got a? I don't feel like we've got the representation of Storm that we should have in a live action. But do you think it's on the way? No, mm. no. I'm joking. I'm joking. I think <laughs> it is because um, with I know Michelle Michelle uh, I forgot her name. Um, she's in the new black going to be in the new Black Panther movie. Um, there's talks of her being a storm or a lady. Ooh, um, okay. Our lady. Oh my gosh, what's her name? She's um, she was the ex girlfriend of Killmonger. Um, so it's like there, it's up in the air who she's gonna be. But I feel like it is important to introduce introduce Storm now because it's it's needed. Like I'm sorry, yeah. like she's when it comes to Wakanda's future, she was she was queen. Like it's it's important to have her character and like. Not these, not not someone my complexion. She's from, you know, she's from Africa. Like I, mm-hmm. I we want that representation True. of Storm from the comics in, in live action. So I'm praying that does like happen soon. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm. I, I want there to be these representations. and you know, you're always gonna get pushed back because again, they just showed the uh, trailer for the new uh, Lord of the Rings. I was like, what are all these black people doing here? Like. The same thing about the Wild West. I was like, when after they slavery did there. y'all get rid of black people in the U.S.? Like, we were here. Yeah. Like, did we all just go underground? Like, y'all were, mo- we were mole people during that time? Well, what did you think we were doing? Like, as much as we cheat at sports, we must be aliens. We must have some. He's got extra muscle down there. I don't know what they be. What are you eating? You get, is It must be that government cheese we're giving them. It's giving them superpowers like Spider-Man. Like, come on, dude. Like, just give us the representation we want. And I'm I'm... As a as big a comic fan as Method Man is, and the and Method Man has had his uh, comics podcast, but then he also sat down and talked with Span, Stan Lee as well as uh, Kevin Smith, and it goes back to what you're hitting on with Storm keeping Wolverine in line. Wolverine was uh, what Stan said the original leader of the X Men, but they kept dying. So when he went to Charles, and Charles was like, "Who the fuck are you?" He's like, hey, "I can't. I I keep killing people. I need somebody else." It's like when you see those leaders give up the rank and then you have somebody that holds them in control and keeps them responsible. I was like, those are the things we want represented. And Method Man has the knowledge to bring Bishop to life. Like just, yeah. or, I mean, I don't care who he plays, any character he plays, he will have the comic knowledge to bring them to life and give them the accurate respect they need. But also it needs to reflect that because if you can, Say that all these white people are samurai and Japanese and, and Mexican. I don't even know. I was watching uh, I Spy with Eddie Murphy and Owen Wilson, and they had that one uh, white dude that's supposed to be Carlos. I said, uh, from Office Space, I said, really? This is Carlos? And you have a Mexican guy standing right next to him? Okay. Things have not changed at all, but I'm, I'm ready for um, a legit a story. way to go. Mm, I hope it's not too long because the and baby think, can't get into too many more fights at bowling alleys before we get the change we need. And just to piggyback what you guys are saying, I think it is. I think it's very important that we get that in a timely manner too. You know, mm-hmm. just like we had, you know, Wonder Woman and uh, you know Captain Marvel for the you know to represent you know mm, Monica Rambeau. Yeah, through. and I think even you know when Black Panther came out, that was a, 
a huge marker, you know, saying a black, uh, all cast pretty much, mm, you know, superhero. Yeah. And I, but I think we need to see that leading black role um, for a female. I, I think do. that's a huge, huge thing that I really hope, I, you know, I, yeah, like they got it in there. They got it on the storybooks on the on, on the on the ceiling in hmm. a good way. And that's why, like, like in DC, right? I with Nubia, I, I'm, I'm. Mm. With this Wonder Woman game that was announced and kind of just like that's coming out soon, I'm really praying that we can hopefully get more Nubia recognition Dude. as queen and I, just as an Amazonian fighter because I feel like her level of of just leadership outshines Diana's. I love it does. Diana, she's just like she's very she's a warrior first, but she's learning to be um, queen and and that comes with a lot of challenges. But just seeing the way she's facing it, I'm like. I want to see this live action, please. Mm-hmm. Same with Storm. I just, I just want a Storm story. Like it, it's, I yeah, it. it's long overdue. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Like uh, the stuff that I saw for Black Adam, uh, and also um, uh, the Hawkman is going to be black, and you're seeing that representation. Like he's in Egypt. He's not looking like Daniel Day Lewis. He's looking like Dwayne, The Rock. What did The Rock say? Hey, boy, calm down. It's swinging down there. I'm, you, you know, you know who my daddy was. His name was my last name's Johnson for a reason. It's supposed to be a, a special trailer dropping. Um, oh yeah, dude. Tomorrow. Did you? I know you didn't see the one we were talking about, like uh, the Flashpoint trailer they had mixed in with the uh, the mm-hmm. titles that are coming out and seeing Ezra Miller's eye contacts come down, keeping the bugs out of his eyes. It's just like oh. I, I think I saw. Uh, where did I, I feel like I just saw that trailer. Spicy, did you do like a? Did you talk about that trailer? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I retweeted. My homeboy was posting, and I retweeted, and I was like, "Yeah." I think I may have saw it there. Um, Doctor Fate looks freaking gorgeous. Yeah. Oh my god, the way they the shape of the helmet, and the gold. I was like, and I like the actor playing Doctor Fate. I feel like he's a really like a little Pierce Bronson. Yeah. 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 A season. A season. Okay. I was like, yes, this is. Looks good. Because I was, they were, they said that they were thinking about Liam Neeson. I was like, man, I can't get behind that one. He in Egypt too, because he's just walking around looking for. I, I said, Liam, we gotta sit back. You gotta go to take him. I sit back on this one, dog. We can't. Have you yeah. Here. Um. But guys, thank you for. Um. We had some people chatting on Facebook. Thank you guys for chiming in. Uh, spicy lady, could you turn your mic just a little bit more towards you? They said you're a little bit low on their end. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this better? Yes, there we go. Yeah, okay. I just want to make sure they're hearing everything. She said she's dropping knowledge over here, dropping jewels. Um, and okay. since we're done with the tell you say again, much respect to Aurora. Don't call her Storm unless you got to. If you call her Storm, you're on the wrong end of that conversation. Aurora <laughs> Monroe. And Doom Doom learned the hard way because he came hey. up trying to say, can I see the manager? And she said, you know my <laughs> name, sir. and uh with that let's take our first pause for the cause again if you're watching the show live you get to hear that beautiful music from rifty beats but if you're listening to the show you get to hear our commercials listen to some of the new commercials we throw in as well as if you're trying to create your own podcast you know where to go blackandstudios.com as well as there's some other sources but look at that man down there this is this is what he does he helps you with your podcast because if not his his children go hungry Yes, they do. Like Caius. Caius, I tried to talk to Caius on the phone. I was like, Caius is You're still starving. a child. He should be happy. He's like, what? I am starving. I was like, where? first off, where'd you get the accent from? And how can you talk so well, Caius? My father is not working. What are you doing? I was like, okay, you're you're mixing. Are you are you auditioning for Black Panther too? Are you doing that? And then he hung Dude, up on I'm me. Still, I'm going to clip this because I was just telling DeAndre, I was like, it's crazy how this, how this dude went from having a freaking English accent to now have an African accent. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, I, it's crazy. Anyway, I'm, hey. so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to snip okay. this. Okay, do it. Do it for it. Uh, but We're going to take a little bit of he's break. Like, what are you talking about? Like, kids sound like he's he's from Africa now. I was like, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know where the transition started. Yeah, it's in his heart. It's where the transition yeah, is. the heart of the cards. But we'll be right back right after this short break to dive into our solid interview of the Spicy Lady CEO herself. We'll be right back after this break. Fine. 
finally worked up the courage to talk to your crush, trying to escape the life of a leftover lady or a herbivore man? Then you're one click away from exchanging email addresses with the one you like. Go to www.exchangeexchange.com and sign up as a new member and instantly start receiving emails straight to your phone from others in your area just like you. Go to school and tell your friends that Change Exchange is here for you to be able to message the one you love. Let Change Exchange change your life one exchange at a time. Friendships, relationships, pirate ships, or any kind of ships are not guaranteed as a result of using Change Exchange. Looking for your voice to be heard? Have a passion and want to share it with those of a common mindset? Have a business or brand that needs to get the word out but don't know where to advertise? Contact Black & Studios, a full-spectrum, cutting-edge podcast studio that services clients from all over the country. Black & Studios offers you more than just a podcast. We offer you an experience. In-house production from audio-video recording, editing, marketing, advertisement, and exposure with over thousands of people listening weekly. Black & Studios doesn't hesitate to back local businesses. So when you want your voice heard, Black & Studios has your back. Search Black & Studios on all social platforms. Email at podcast at blackandstudios.com or visit us at blackandstudios.com. And remember... It's black. <laughs> no, you are ready. I went ahead. It was so funny. The reason why I did it, you would laugh. I was, uh, I was on one A, and there was like some product called Gojo something. Mm. And I was like, oh, Gojo, Gojo. That's Gojo. my pets. Gojo. Don't make you think of it. The Buyo arc, he was in rare form. I was like, okay. Gojo was showing him who he was meant to be. And I love the fact that he smiles. Like, he is so confident in himself after. Like, he wasn't one of those to really get too down. Gojo was like, oh, okay, I got it. This is what I have to do from now. Oh, yeah. He went full Jack Nicholson. Ugh, I loved it. Um, hey folks, we are back from our break. This is the 302nd episode of the Elijah Bailey Show. We are here with the CEO of Spicy Lady Productions, Spicy Lady Entertainment, the Spicy Lady herself. Thank you for joining us. We just finished up going over all the video game uh, reviews, uh, recommendations for this month, and then we also hit on AKA Storm. The reason I hit you with AKA because her name is Aurora Monroe, the queen of it all. The queen of laying that pipe down. If you want to raise your voice, let me let the thunder clap on your ass. Mm. Um, So now we're going to dive into a very, very in-depth interview. Because when we started talking about Saint Say, I was like, you know what? There's not too many, many ladies that are are out there that are talking this fervently about Saint Seiya. And then it was just like rolled into other anime and into comics. And he was like, uh, and even into your work on Screen Rant, there's, there's a lot of things where you come across just as not only a lover, but this this source of expertise. And a lot of people don't pick up on it because it's small stuff. Like, again, we were talking about Saint Seiya and we were talking about the dubbing. Nobody would have known. They wouldn't know. Oh, this is the original dub. This is exactly how I remember. Like, mm, is it though? Sure, it is. Like, mm. Is it? And all of them are white. Like, are they though? <laughs> are they? I know they're orphans, and I know uh, they was getting their ass. Oh, uh, who who was it? Old bald. Uh, what? Damn, I always forget his name. He was laying hands on him. He was beating the shit out of Iki. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In Greece, yeah. Mm-hmm. I forgot his name, but he yeah, they're definitely Goliath. Uh, David and Goliath situation. Like, mm-hmm. Sales, I'm gonna move that up. You ain't and, getting his armor. <laughs> <laughs> and we had a conversation too about uh, Shiryu. Just like he is almost like the phoenix because every battle he's di- he's given up some. Oh, his heart is stopping. Oh, his he's blind. Oh, he he can no longer reproduce children. Like, please leave this man with something. He is burning right. his cosmos every episode just to come back from the brink of death to fight like Zoro. He was the first Zoro of anime. Let's put it and that probably way. probably had the, one of the most like prominent teachers ever. Like his teacher, his sensei was a gold, gold saint. Yeah. So it's just like, it was like, why is this man's eyesight an issue? Like the creator just was always messing with his eyesight. Mm-hmm. But 
but I I get it now because I show you he's definitely someone who has to like see like he's definitely a, a vision person you know yeah. so I think by taking away his sight he has more wisdom that way by being more alert of everything else and that and that also kind of makes sense of his master what he taught him so looking back so okay it makes sense but in the beginning it's like every arc this man's eyesight yeah. was being taken away and I'm like. He learned a lesson already. You know, he already he, learned this lesson. Oh, no, he didn't. He's going to be like Vegeta yeah, yeah. every fight. His his armor's getting crushed in. I got yeah, to go it, back to train. But it makes sense, right? Because it's like, yeah. there, that's how Saiyan be him. Because it's like, there's, a, mm-hmm. there's that one spot in his armor. So it's like, I, I like that. But yeah. each character, I feel like, um, each character has their own flaws. And they all learn their own lessons. And they all come together as a group. And, you know, kind of. They, they made up their they family. Learned. Yeah. Yeah, and I like how they all come together, apply what they learn, and they all grow, you know, together that way. And then each new fight they get into, they implement those new learn lessons to each other, and that kind of makes for a better fight scene, a better more mm-hmm. emotional too. And that's that's what kept me invested. Besides the trash talk, you know, but <laughs> it was just like <laughs> that was hey. that trash talk. Oh my, especially that- Sega. That reminded me of some kids we used to go to school with because uh, Trey, Trey Gibson, Tip <laughs> Tip, boy, he light your ass up. We doing a little bitch. Yeah, like, what? You, you, you can say that? Oh. Fuck. But, but what else can orphan boys? Yeah. But why else, what, what else will orphan boys do? Like, it makes facts. sense. Like, facts. They had Big nothing facts. but time to crack on each other. They grew up with each other. So, of course, they go crack on villains. Like, I see you like being a chair, bitch. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> No, Damn. when when Inky was like, I I ain't about to get my ass beat by no mama's boy. I was yeah. like, Yeah. Hey. In the water, <laughs> say a say a straight up when he first met ah uh, fuck what was old boy's name he met in the wood and he hit him with the glow finger. Yes. Uh, and he uh, he uh, said. Uh, yeah, he's like, how much did your sugar daddy pay you? I was like, damn. He said, you got your attack from another man. They they gave you that cosmos power. And he's talking to a gold knight. Like, they, they had that tongue. And then they were like, you know what? We're saving Athena. Fuck this. We're going yeah. all the way up the path, whooping your ass, your ass. And we're going to get it done because Athena believes in us. And I thought, like, her thinking back to the first time that she was building into her entitlement and say it was like bitch he's one of us get your hands off of him she's like and grandpa's like i'm ashamed of your ass these kids ain't got nothing and she's like grandpa you stole them though shut up bitch now these no, kids no. have nothing and you need to treat I, them with respect no and i and i love that right because um that okay hold on i'm sorry i'm sorry hold on. Naomi, close door, please so like so with 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 Athena bro like I I really love how in the beginning she was like I'm I'm that girl like you know I'm mm-hmm. my grandpa Rachel and she was like who are you and I, mm-hmm. like I'll be your last right the hell now. yeah and then in the, and then in, in the end you see like him being literally like his her Pegasus like ride or die so yeah. it's like I really did love that you know but did I wish Athena would have done more with her goddess powers sure. yes because she was always needed to be saved but you know I I. As a goddess, I, I guess I get it. You know? <laughs> so powerful that you are no earthly good here on earth. So whatever. Wow. But um, I just, I <laughs> say it was like very like, we not giving up. Like we ain't do no talking because you guys are gold knights. You guys signed up for what we signed up for. Mm. So let's get to fighting. Cause ain't no, ain't no, I'm not going to explain myself to you. <laughs> so it's mm. like, that's what I really love. Boy, you, almost, you guys really just make me want to get back, try to find it and get on it. You almost made me and, pull up a clip. You know, Cause it was yeah, like yeah, I, I remember a clip. You said I'm gonna I'm gonna stop you, Elijah. Sorry, because uh, no, as, as, as the co-host, <laughs> you good, you good. I, I know you two would talk about saying say hey, for the sorry, for at least another sorry. two hours. Excuse me, excuse me. No, 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 no. Because I love the way you did it. Because that just showed her like like for the people who don't know where Spicy's at, they just show like she just showed where 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 a she's at. Okay, she just she just broke level. it down. Um. <laughs> It was so crazy. It's like I was coming up here. I was like, "All right, Buck, I gotta, I gotta be mindful of saying spicy, because hmm. I've been on a kick of just saying spicy. That's just what I say now." Yeah. So I was like, "I don't want to say it on air. It just sounds weird." But <laughs> anyway, we got spicy lady. We want to <laughs> create this area of the of the show to like let's get to know this phenomenal <laughs> spicy lady. Phenomenal so we got woman. a couple of questions. Yes, yes, definitely. Right. We got a couple of questions that we want to uh, ask you. 
And uh, Elijah, what you going to start it off with the first one? Now, th- you're a lover of anime. You're a lover of manga. Now, we ask the same thing of Keith, and we're, we're just trying to limit it. Because I we get hit with this question all the time. It, we know we hate this question. So we're not we're not gonna say top, but what are three anime? No, you know, fuck yeah, that. Yeah, no, I, I, no, I like that. You're your okay. Top you three do okay. Yeah, yeah. Top yeah. three. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. is always hard for me because I feel like it always changes. Um, but I really and really love. Uh oh, Buck fell asleep with his eyes closed. <laughs> Athena got to him. What'd you say? You <laughs> <laughs> did my thing, Paul. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Paul's it. I just glitched up. Hey, you cyborg? Cyborg. Can you boot him back in? There we go. So what, what were no, you saying? Uh, I, I actually can't remember. I think I was just saying, like, it's completely fine. Like, whatever's your top three for right yeah. now. Um, Definitely JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Ooh. I I love Araki's writing style and just the, the can't liveness of every character. Um, How every new part, you just follow another family member and you see the other family members inside, like, part of them so it's very like nostalgic because you grow with the family so mm-hmm. i love jojo's um i really really enjoy cowboy beat no 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 i love cowboy Beat, but, but no outlaw star outlaw star is a very <sighs> like a, like a, a precious anime to me um, I, like, I, uh, I like that word she used precious it's very precious, precious to me i watched it after watching cowboy bebop and was like i want more of this aesthetic more of this you know and so when i watched mm-hmm. outlaw star i was <sighs> like Oh, and I gravitated towards Asia Clan Clan and all the other women characters on this mm. team. Like, you know, so I was just yeah. like I like I like it a lot. So I, I bought the DVD at a con once, eighty dollars. I don't care, like complete DVD set, love it. Yes. Um mm, priorities. Just, <laughs> mm. And then thirdly, Bleach, obviously, like mm, Takubo's yes. favorite. I felt like one of my favorite MCs. I love Ichigo, like but just different from other MCs, very much just a regular teenage kid mm-hmm. and I relate a lot to his his way of thinking and, and you know his his friends, all that fun stuff and just his resolve. So I think I think that's a good top three. Yeah. I yeah. think that is. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. <laughs> you got the classics in there. You got Bleach. Mm-hmm. And of course you got the you know, I think anybody who put JoJo's bizarre in their top of anything is like you're you you have to be hella diverse. Yeah, like you, you got to be cool with a lot of a lot of <laughs> shit because they do. Gotta, a lot of I've, shit. Seen, I've seen a lot of stuff. You, I know you have. Yeah. I know <laughs> you have. I have. I have been trying to get on JoJo for quite some yes, time now. Yes, you have. So, and it, it's every time I do it, I'll be like, but ah, shit. But Ocean pulled you in though. Ocean oh. did. Yeah, I I yeah. ended up binging the dog shit out of that, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. and it did make me want to go, go back. back. Which I did yeah. start. I'm like on episode like 19, uh, okay. Phantom Blood again, and yeah. it's just like oh, so good. And it's I went back and rewatched part three because part three wasn't like isn't really anyone's favorite. You know, it wasn't <laughs> really mine's either. But going back and where I'm in currently, like after reading part six, you know, yeah. kind of reading a little bit seven eight, I'm like there was a lot of Easter eggs here. Mm-hmm. Like, even even in part two, like with with Joseph, like. This man was in Italy, passed by the Colosseum, where in part five, one of the major you know, mm-hmm. battles place. And even then, they were discovering um, things about, you know, the arrow cell, like the way Rocky's writing is, even Jotaro in- in- implicating that he want he likes biology type thing, and how most of the fights took place underwater in his part. So it just, it just seeing that writing style, and you know, as someone who um, loves like writing, currently writing my own story, I'm, I'm just like, this is the level of genius I'm trying to be on. Mm. <laughs> like it's so great, I love it so. Yeah, and and just to be goofy, be yourself. You know, learning words like you don't have to be this like strong main character. You can be goofy like like Joseph, but still observant. You can be, I guess, serious like Jotaro, but still have a kind heart. You can be like Jolene, where she's all of in between, but will use her fist. You know, more yeah, so real than quick. Her hey, she's, and that's she's real Jolene, quick. She, Go down real quick. Opposite of her dad, she like, look. I'm using my hand. I ain't using my my stand is real quick. Powerful too, but, I would but yeah. I've been in and game. Dad, you can get these hands too, big oh, fella. Oh, one hundred. Right. You can I'll get go back these to the hands too. Literally, like she don't. I'm about care. to go back to jail because I don't give a damn about you, dude. When she, yes. when she hit the pose when they were strip searching, I was like, she's on a whole nother level right now. She said, "Which pose do you need to search me? Go ahead and get but it over with." 
That's Joseph, right? Like clowning, like since Hell you yeah. want to think you embarrass me, one. nah, Could, I'm it, a, I'm not gonna give it to you. You're right, Joseph. First time we see him, he's fuck, like crooked cops. Pow, coke bottle to the face, like fuck yeah, y'all. Pigs. Mm-hmm. Like, hey. right now we're racist around here, or it's like got a Tommy gun. And it's like, look, <laughs> I'm lining this place up, like just trolling, <laughs> but still observing at the same time. I really, I really like like that about Joseph. Like he <sighs> clown, but his clowning is a distraction for what he's about to do in his next move. You know, like he's not, he's not a dumbass. So I do love that. Facts, facts. Uh, Buck, you got your question ready, or you? Uh... Let's go ahead and just slide right into you know with mm. the big question. When you say anime, of course you got a certain type of breed of us who also enjoy the manga of it as well. <laughs> and from my understanding, you are one of those breeds. So, uh, what would you say your your top? I actually want to know not not just your top. I want to know the what manga got you into reading manga. And then oh. what's and then what's uh what are you currently reading? I think I like that better. Okay. So what got me into reading manga? That's tough because my first experience with manga was Naruto. Um, hey, twin over there. Yeah, I, I I I was I was in third grade and I was like always reading um and <laughs> I over like um I read all of my required reading so I was kind of hmm. bored my teacher was like dang you overachiever so she's like just chill I don't know what to do with you so my friend he had a, a manga of Naruto and I was like this looks pretty cool and he was like yeah so he kind of explained to me how like in Japanese you read you know different from how you read normally and I was like wow this is pretty cool you know um but I wanted I didn't think I got to read manga until maybe maybe high school I think and I think the one that got me to like reading manga is probably I think it's I think it was Bungo Stray Dogs that got me into wanting to read manga because I really loved the the That's story nice and I loved and the literature I liked how the characters' powers for were based off of literature it was something I I I love already so mm-hmm. that made me want to get into that and then kind of trickle down effect um into everything else but. I'm currently reading basically everything that's ongoing in Shonen Jump, um, Jujutsu Kaisen, um, My Hero. You got Black Clover in there, right? No. Oh, like that's another one that you will <laughs> like narratively. It soars you say that was brighter. So much fortitude too. That's the part that no, hurt. But I think you know what's because with Keith, because Keith said that too. And I think everybody like that's the way that it was presented. Said, when, we, when we say Black Clover, it's an instant like, nah. No, it's I, but. I I have one volume black over and I like the character. I love um Mary Leona. She's my favorite. Mm. I freaking oh, love her. Oh, so I'm I'm watching the I'm watching the anime. Um this just the manga. I don't know. I just I just haven't like I guess had the time to want to like invest in reading it. I feel not you, to I say feel that it's not, you know, it's just it's not like Are I'm you finished the anime? Um, no, I'm almost there, actually. I okay, boom. Going. That's the point. That's where it will get her. I know it will. Yeah, I'll put yeah, my cause... money on it. Oh, she yeah, going to watch that last chat. She's going to watch that last episode. Like, if it got Joshy boy. Oh, that's. Oh, they got me. Buckety was right. Buckety was right. Black, Where's this Clover, volume? What Black Clover is, I like to, like, binge in the season. So, like, it'll be like, if it's like a like a summer, I'm like, okay, this, this is no stacked up. I'll binge it and I'll, I enjoy myself, like, to mm-hmm. the brim. But then I, I kind of, like, be like, all right. That's enough. Let me go to something else. So it's like, I feel you. Have gotcha. to, you know, go in tears type things. But um, what else? JK, my hero. Um, oh, uh, Go Sleeper Girl. Oh, mm, so good. And I'm so mad that they're taking a hide. Like oh, yeah, because now we're, we're seeing uh, Oscar Cthulhu do his thing. And I'm just like, this right. motherfucker's smooth. And he's goofy. I like it. So that's another one. I like that. What else you got on your list? Uh, Go Supergirl, and then I I've been reading Dan to Dan. It's a very interesting read. Yes, <laughs> so it's very funny manga. Um, but I it's, it gives me JJK <laughs> vibes, but just like goofiness and you know the occult, whatever. And I I it's cute. The the art style kind of reminds me of um. I told my friend this. I forgot. Not not Death Note, but it reminded me of like. Dang, I forgot what I told my friend, but I the art style is like very easy to digest. I like I like it. It's very bright and already poppy. animated. Yeah, mm-hmm. like you know, so I like that. Um and I think I think that's it right now with like okay. manga right now. I also read a lot of webtoons, which we're not gonna get into that. Okay. Okay, we don't we don't have to if you don't want to. <laughs> Everybody just follow her on Twitter and you'll see it there. 
I'm like, <laughs> oh yes, because I will talk about it. I will talk about it. And, and again, I said she is anything with an ER at the end. She is a streamer, a gamer. What <laughs> style, what genre game would you say is your genre? Because we talked about, you know, fighters and stuff, but is mm-hmm. it, you know, is it really strictly fighters or is it fantasy because you're a fan of narrative? Like, what is your genre? And then how did, what was the first one that got you like, dude, I got to play any type of game I can find like this? Because when we played Imports, I was like, Dragon Ball series, uh, Gundam, got to have it and I got to stay with it and I have this whole time. I think uh, with, with with video games, I I just love like multiplayer, just fighting games. Like, you know, like like I grew up playing um, Smash Bros with my mm. uh, God Brothers, um, Power Stone. I really love Ooh. Power Stone. Yeah, I haven't heard that in a while. Yeah, that since was the, the game. That was, a that, was a game as, that was a game as a kid. I was like, because like any any anything with like a with a strong woman character i'm gonna play that's just something that related to me as a kid growing up and um i forgot her her name but she just deals with fire and but she's also a dancer so i was like that's dope like mm-hmm. cool so i just i love games like that um um so yeah just I, but i i'm very like competitive so it's 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 it kind of because i'm a i'm a um I'm a jock, right? I play basketball. I play all kinds of sports. So I'm very, I grew up in a competitive household. So with fighting, it just, it centers my focus. And I kind of like, you know, learn new things, whatever. And you could talk trash because my god brothers would talk trash. They did not let <laughs> up on you. So it's like, I <laughs> I just grew up around that. So I, I like that. The game that kind of made me play, I guess, uh, Dragon Ball Budokai. I think that's oh. the game where I was like, this is like a really fun game that I want to continue. So you know, nice obviously classic. Mortal Kombat and the Street Fighters. So, what would you feel like your game is like if you had to like put money on it? A challenge, yeah, yeah. Put your, put some money on it. Like the game that you know you got cold, like your hands are already cold as in. Injustice too. Injustice Ooh. too. Give me Harley okay. Quinn, I will whoop you. Okay, you okay. I, I feel like a, a, a challenge has been issued. Amen. I I trained in injustice. I was training in injustice. Ooh, and, um, look at the confidence! But That's a real Harley game, Quinn, right there, folks. Man, I Holly Quinn, them dogs and her hammer, like these are strategically take someone she, out, take him out. So. <laughs> I like okay. it. I like. I just I just downloaded that uh, injustice too. I think it was last December. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I haven't Storm got to long. touch on it. I played it. The last time I actually played it, I got I got I got handed business super bad mm. and i was just like huh okay well you know I'll, I'll pick it back up one day and you know mm, listen the king was like you, you know, what, you know what i am I, I i don't yeah. back down from a butt whoop I'll, I'll take an ass whooping yeah, days no, sure. straight days straight um and not complain that's uh, true but that yeah so i, I read down like, I'm, I'm gonna have to jump back but on but you wallow you wallow, cause I'll be like, "Hey, Buck, you want to talk?" Or? Nah, nah, I don't want to talk. No, they, they don't need to talk about it. It's just you know. Okay. No, I'm just saying, like, you got the hands right now. Let me go ahead and you know what? rub my hands together, warm them up. I'll be back. Oh shit! That. Cyborg had to cut his feet off because it caught him lying again. He <laughs> <laughs> over. No, nah, but I, see, that's the kind of confidence you don't get from non-gamers well, well uh you know i play this and i was like nah nah what if they had a gun to your head or your mama's head say you put a game down to save her life <laughs> what game would you tetris, be Elijah? tetris pong uh me shit we can go you, through any dragon ball fighters? category okay i don't give a shit we can go back to the imports if you want to and i'm a, and I'm going to disrespect the fuck out of you with a human. I'm Master Roshi. Like, Master Roshi didn't even have that many games. But, like, fighters right now, I told Stone I wouldn't use anybody I used last time. So, no Krillin. Krillin, Krillin and uh, what's his name that the mean everyone's like? Uh, Krillin and... Who? Dang, Bulma used to date him. He's always in that country. Yamcha. Yamcha. Oh, dude. They, they're nice in fighters. The hell yeah, they is. They're nice. Like, hey, Buck know how nice they are. They bought him a, a Hawaiian punch. <laughs> mm-hmm. and it's, hey, they they super nice, especially, some I mean, especially Yamcha. Yes, I, I Yamcha? give it to Yamcha and uh, and Master Roshi. Those are they, actually yeah. you. I've seen you rock with Krillin a lot. Because because mm-hmm. Yamcha is a train. He's mar- like a trained martial artist, so mm-hmm. that makes sense, you know. So, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. We got to start right there because somebody put some respect on Yamcha's name, like he well deserves. 
Everybody now, else be like, I, whoa, 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 wait. Outside I've of the group. Outside of our group, oh, not yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My talking, bad, my bad. Hell yeah, yeah, no. Okay. I, I, I already feel like since we're talking about fighting games, like none of us are friends right now. It's all uh, like, we're, it's and, hostile. It's level like, 10 right now. Be, I don't know what you saying right now. That's Spicy's, you, Spicy's of level, level of confidence. Like I will put, <laughs> like there was a one time, and, and this was in college, so I ain't going to date myself. But I went around, there was a whole dorm room, and I went around, I said, before we play uh, Budokai, I think it was Tenkaichi 2, I said, you're not going to get a win, you're not going to win, you're not going to get shit. And my cousin, I said, Chris, you're all right, you might get three wins the whole night. And we was playing for hours, I said, Josh, you are not as good as Chris, you'll get two. Both of them motherfuckers are my cousin, everybody else didn't get shit. I rocked that motherfucker all night, and I was like, you know what, y'all can keep this motherfucker if y'all want to practice, I'll be back tomorrow. Like... I, the Dragon Ball games, just like you were talking about Injustice, like I could, I could feel like when I was Raccoon, I was sitting there in like some spandex whooping ass, and then I had to go put some shoulder pads on his nap and shit. I was like, hey, we, I can feel the force. It's funny because um, my homeboy, we, we played Injustice once because that's when I was training in it, and I whooped his. He was like, nah, nah, take because look, look, you've been training in this. I, I, it's been a while. I'm used to Xbox. I'm like, okay, well, we can go again. Like, mm. you know, ain't no thing. Hey, oh, bring your yeah. Xbox. But no, and it's right. It was funny because like when I was whenever I was when I was training in fighters, my my friend, he was like helping me out, whatever. And I was like grasping it well. Yeah. And so we were in one match and he let up on me and I noticed it and I, I cursed him out. I was like, mm. why, do, why did you let up? Why did you let me win? Don't don't do that. Thank you. Like, oh, I didn't think you would notice. I'm like, you would think I would notice like you've been whooping my tail. Okay. all like, like, don't do that to me. Yeah. Like cause now you're a terrible teacher. Like, yes. yeah. Now you trash. I beat my I beat my ten and my three year old ass. All the <laughs> time. Video Pleasure. games. No Pleasure wins. Video. Video. No yeah. wins. No wins. No wins. Well, Buck, what what game are you confident in, sir? Because it seems like one of your sons dethroned you. Uh-oh. Yes, he did. Yeah, he did. Uh, luckily, me and him go back and forth, so he'll have his days. I have my days now. But, That's good uh, though. Yeah, because so ain't nobody Cal- gonna be hanging with him. That's his age. Or no, all. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soul Cal would probably be the game that Ooh. I just have to say I'm 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 that guy. I love you. What yeah, character do you yeah. play? You play with? You play with? Uh, hey, Logic, go go. You you want an educator? You, you know about he, the he he's got okay. So he's got you tears. Talk about the Earth plays with me. You yeah, can go yeah, yeah. Talk about that, the was line an, that was another game that I was like I was also playing in Soul Calibur Six. I was like, oh okay, I like I like the I like the moving the the, the dodges. I like. The, yeah, I like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. He 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 has a, a tier system. Like you get the poppers first, so it could be Maxi, oh. it could be Killick. And then, like, if if he have to pull nightmare out on you, that's that's when you made it up to the throne. Nightmare. But you, hey, you see her face right now. She's like, I I know that he I, gives I, me I nightmares. Have nightmares over that dude. I I'm get sorry. nightmares over night, him. Night, nightmare mains really irritate me because it's like you really pick the coldest nigga out of a bunch. Easily. Boy, Un- unblockable, literally unblockable. You just gotta dodge him. No, the no one, two, and you the thing. One, two, <laughs> the thing that makes him worse is like Buck won't even use like those those moves unless it's like because I'm mess- a old I'm a I play so Cal yeah. like let's call it Soul Edge so I've been mm. playing it since like the '90s and um, a lot of their moves are still kind of similar Same, so yeah. the unblockable mm-hmm. stuff like that uh, they're just not, it's like playing like Street Fighter you're used to doing a Hadouken the Shuriken and all that stuff but that, that's yeah, like you talking yeah. Tekken to me because nigga like, you can't did you just button mash and I was like nigga I'll run up give me 10 combos out of you pick 10 combos that you see on Eddie's list and I'll run them motherfuckers back wait a second let me do law on you let me do Tekken one law moves on you I won't even do shit from two or three let's go here once again uh, I'm gonna be the co-host of, of the Thank year you. already in February so let's really back real quick because we got a couple more things we want to ask Spicy before we wrap this show up mm-hmm. um, because we want to get to know you as well we're, we're learning yeah. about the anime and because we're all influencers mm-hmm. we're just that's what we do we're just passionate about what we love and that's what we just, that's what we tend to talk about the most mm-hmm. uh, but let's get to know you a little bit more um I actually want to know, talk to us about the series that you're actually writing as a creator. Yeah, I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah, okay, okay. So it's 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 still in the wraps. I don't want to give it too much because, you know, I don't want people to still still. But it basically, it's just... they will. Exactly. So, but it's, it's something I've been working on for a few years. Um, Just, that's just been on my heart and something that I've been realizing. What inspired that... you to do it? Oh, just wanting to have a women 
main prota- main protagonist of a shonen style type of show like series whatever mm-hmm. and um i'm not gonna lie basing it off of like me my journey and also with me and my sisters and my family um and but putting that into a, a, a series that everyone can relate to like you know it's not all about like oh it's a woman it's like yes that's important but it's, it's not important it's, it's the character stories it's just it's all about all of our stories and relating to that so like character that's why characters like ichigo i i mm. love how they're draw, how they're written because it's like anyone can relate to ichigo like anyone can relate to like um like Marleona. like it's just about like their circumstances and how they handle it it's not about like they're a girl they're a woman like yeah that mm. that that takes part in the story but it's not the main reason that it exists so it's just i wanted to kind of tell a story like that but about like just coming together as a family family drama family um history um the good and the bad and overcoming all of that so as well as the spiritual aspect and it's been a tough it's been a tough because as i'm writing it, i'm learning about myself you know the mm. things that i do and kind of putting that into it in my characters and growing in that way so it's been a fun experience so i'm i'm excited to yeah. develop it as i as i go on my journey <laughs> no, that's super beautiful dope. yeah and one of the things that you said it exposes a lot about yourself um and i and you know whenever i'm talking to people online because I, I try not to be judgmental it's like you like this for whatever reason or you might not have been exposed to this aspect or not even thought about it because like i was talking to uh j stone 812 which you guys can follow him here on twitch he actually was my co-host of the superpower movie podcast and we reviewed like not only netflix series but also films from howard the duck all the way up to like ed norton's hulk and we broke them down but the, when the snyder cut came out I'm probably the only one. I'm the only one out of our group that's watched it like four times, and I, I didn't did. have to take a break. You did too. Spent, spent that whole yeah. Day. And and I did. So did. and you keep on you keep on finding more things narratively in there because when I start writing, I'm like, hey, I have these amount of characters, and I try to place these characters outside. Like I have a Native American character, somebody from Norse mythology, um, all of these uh, women that are descendants from famous, um, not not only African but Japanese and and Thailand, different type of women that led and held their countries down at different time periods. It's like I have to step outside of myself and and give this character just their due as a character, not just as a woman character, not just as a male character, really get immersed in that culture. So it does have you leave yourself to actually dive into something else and experience another life, which a lot of times we don't get. A lot of people try to recreate that by traveling a lot. But if you do read and you do reach out like crazy, John, I'm using them again. I talked about that at the beginning of the show. Uh, he, crazy John today. <laughs> he <laughs> studies Norse mythology. So when I have questions, and again, he's got access to a lot of direct and correct information. He's giving me that information, but also I'm doing my own fact checks. And then like, where do I want this? Like Naruto, if I want a three cell team out of this, like uh, if I don't know if any of you guys have read this before, but until death do us part is a, um, a story about a blind Japanese samurai who used to be in the military who he did, he did use guns, but he always had like a katana on him. He's blind. His cane is now like a micro fiber katana that can cut through anything. And this girl that is a precog looks for her avenue of survival. And she's like, she finds him like, you'll be my husband. Cause she knows if she stays with him for life, she's always safe. One of the bad guys, whether you think it's good or not, is an African dictator who has several sons vying for his successorship, but he thinks they're all shit because he doesn't have, he doesn't have the amount of, uh, they don't have the amount of genetics that he wants them to have. He, they don't have mm-hmm. his intelligence or his strength or his speed. And so now he's trying to use this precog as his next like baby, mm-hmm. baby maker to get there. But to sit there and look at that narrative, like this is a military uh, manga that's steeped in survival and like trying to leave my past behind, trying to make a new future, trying to see, and it's all based around this girl that can see the future. How can I relate that? in my writing and again it just goes back to what you stated it makes it so compelling to dig deep and find things about yourself and actually expose those because there's a lot of people that are going through those and that way they can connect to everything that's going on so uh, not to be any more long-winded than i have been 
Uh, I just no, think it's, dude, it's you're good, yeah. you're good. I'm just giving you a hard time when I'm saying that on the show. Oh no, no, I, I know. I just, I just like the fact that we're getting to talk to a lot more writers that are in the same headspace because it's very easy to go into the tropes because we, we've, we've read them. We've we've read black characters by white people, by Hispanic people, and they all have different interpretations. And now we're actually getting characters that are represented by people from that background. It's like, dude, this is like I, I can't love Encanto any more than I do because that movie is just so. I, I'm Louisa when I was I'm like that. Is, <laughs> that is me. I am. Even my, I'll be, even I'll be bumping to, the, the Bruno. The Bruno. Oh yeah, oh, that's so good. I, that is a banger, but yeah, no, I, I agree. And I think the challenge is for me is like how much, like, I guess of myself, like, do I put into these characters to where it's like, it's not just like a carbon copy, like what about it? This, these characters are, cause they're different. They're not exactly the people, you know, that I'm basing them on, you know, they're, they're their own person. Mm -hmm. So just me learning about just like personalities, you know, and how everyone has their personality, but we all relate in certain, in certain ways. So it's just like developing, developing these characters, um, putting them in situations and wondering how they would react to it and stuff like that. Not make them too brooding. Cause I'm not gonna lie, my, my first draft, my character was very brooding. I was like, this isn't, she's depressed. Like, <laughs> like that's where I was currently. So I'm like, okay, let me, let me leave this for another time. You know, that, cause that's, yeah. that's going to be, that's part of the process. But right now it's like, you're, you're, you're finding them where they act currently, you know, which like she's in depressed. Like, you know, she's just, I guess she's just getting you, she's getting ready for something. So yeah, it's, it's fun. It's it's a long process, you know. I don't know how people can write chapters in a week and and be on chapter eighty. I'm Whoa. very meticulous with how I want certain things. I see. I'm a very visual learner, so if I see like a scene in my head, I'll write it down and then I'll go in and edit mm -hmm. it later. But I'm. It's very like strategic with how I want certain things to be, yeah. which gets me caught up sometimes. But yeah <laughs> that's dope that's yeah. dope elijah i'm about to segue into one more question real quick no you're good um, i got one more it's probably, my, it's probably my last question for you so <laughs> you you like like elijah said as far as content creator um you're almost on everywhere that someone could possibly go search and they'll, they'll you'll pop up on that platform what kind of made you want to go down this journey and what are some of the positives and the negatives that you've noticed and how you've been able to kind of overcome them. And while you add, answer that question, Elijah, my battery is like about to drop. So I'm about to swap my batteries out. No, you good. All right. All right, go ahead. Hey friend, tired of having to tirelessly train to level up? No matter how many adventures you go on or how many quests you complete, you're still a few XP away from ranking up. Don't get me started on leveling up your equipment or getting to a rank where you can wield a weapon you got 40 hours ago. Don't you just wish there was a way you could have a sidekick that had everything including your training already pre-programmed inside of them? Well then you'll want to order your con today. At the low price of 10 bags of rice you'll get the Knowledge Operating Nano Friend delivered to your front door within minutes of purchase. Finally, a way for you to overcome the fallacies of the creator's world and become the hero you were always meant to be. Providing bankruptcy services throughout the state of Oklahoma, Bowler & Associates is a bankruptcy law firm based in Midwest City, Oklahoma. Their mission is to relieve you from threat of debt collectors, garnishments, repossessions, tax levies, foreclosures, and much more. Backed by more than 20 years of experience in the legal field, they excel in finding the quickest, most effective, and most affordable solution to all your legal and financial troubles. You can find them at Bowler Law on Facebook and also visit the website at www.bowlerlawfirm.com. Reach them at 405-733-3000. You can also email them at bankruptcy at bowlerandassociates.com. So, okay, so how, like I've always known that I wanted to be entertainment since I was a kid. Like, you know, I... I just love creating. I've always been a creative kid. So it just was something that I knew. And then when I got into dance in high school, the closer I got to graduation, I was like, I, I want to work entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, but because I wasn't, I didn't have like the necessary training 
um that was per se needed i figured i'd go the business route so i was like okay i'll, I'll just major in entertainment business well whatever whatever <laughs> but i guess it kind of got me it just got me used to like realizing that you can make this a career that's like, not just a pipe dream it's not just a hobby like you can make this a career and be successful in it so how i overcome it i'm still overcoming it i'm still overcoming yeah. you know the 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 challenges that comes with it it's not always uh lucrative in the beginning so Thanks. you have to find <laughs> other avenues to gain funding for the projects that you want to do but um i just i feel very strongly about black representation and i and especially with you know black women and how um the stereotypes aren't real like black women were just people like like just like anyone else you know and i want different stories of black women you know because we're all mm -hmm. diverse like you know because we're part of the world you know we're just yeah. we just trying to live a life too we we have goals aspirations and and things that we want to achieve as well and so i i feel like people put, put us in a box it's like i can't fit in the box you know i don't hey. No one's designed to fit in the box. So it's at just the end of their a, life, that's when they do. Right. So it's like, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just trying to push that narrative to people yeah. where it's like, don't, don't put these worldly like norms on. on yeah. like, they're just people like you, like, you know, like, and I think once people understand that a lot of these issues that we have will learn to go away and we can grow even more together and mm -hmm. i think a lot of black traumas will also you know learn yeah. to, to, to you know go away because we will be able to have a dialogue for that and just understand each other um yeah. but yeah so <laughs> i guess that's no, that's question. beautiful um <laughs> Let me address this. Thank you, Elaine Loves Thigh Highs, for following. Uh, we appreciate it. And then, Hunter, yes, the Discord link. Try to go to the channel page and click if it still has you log in. I've been having some issues with this on Streamlabs, so sorry about it. Um, but I will I'll go ahead and fix it for you. Um, one of the things that you said when you were talking about the representation, it just called back to Blue Marvel, like how – everybody was okay with this man being a superhero when they thought he was white. But as soon as that mask got kind of ripped up, they're like black. If a black man had this much power, they would like, dude, I've been saving your life regardless, not getting paid for it. And then even after the, the government wanted to silence me and I thought I was happily married. That was just the agent that was been watching me for years afterwards. Like, why should I give anything to you guys when you took my life away and all I was doing was helping, you know? And it's like, because you put me inside of this box and none of these other superheroes you have, you put inside a box. I'm super intelligent. I just want to make my world better because I live here and I can see past that because we all bleed the same blood. I've seen this by saving countless people time and time again. And I, I, I got to say this, that's a black narrative. Like, 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 look at Icon and Icon and Rocket. Rocket was mm. like... You have all of this wealth, all of this power, and you know, but then all of a sudden, Icon, he's like, look, like I've been living for a very long time, and I've seen the struggles of of these people, and it's like, I don't know what else to do. And Rock is like, well, you got me now, so it's all good. Like, mm -hmm. I got Facts. you back. So it's just seeing that diamond where like, he can take on Superman. He's equally as strong as Superman, but, you know, it, they don't really use him because it's like, how do you have those two power dy dynamics, you know? And Together, yeah. You know, but it's just like that that makes for better writing, like get your writers in the room to figure that out, because I think it, it challenges the writers and it makes for a good story, I think. But I get when you're on a on a I guess when you're on like a press for time, you can't write that compelling story, <laughs> but you know, whatever. Uh, but what is I what just, is Jamal going to eat? Uh, give him some bean pies. There's still bean pies on the page. That's easy yeah. to draw. Like what? Bean pies. Like, I am enjoying Icon of Rocket season one and Static season one. I'm excited for Blood Syndicate because it's like you're getting mm. old stories revamped, but you know, with 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 a uh, with better understanding. Static has been beautiful. Mm. Oh yeah, like ugh, I need to finish it, but yeah, I, I, I just bought the fifth issue on Kindle. That's where I've been keeping okay. my Static collection, and it's just it's I've just been getting hard copies, mm. but they've been getting sold out. Like, that's that's the, exactly why. And I was like, I'm gonna have to go digital on this. Um, yeah. My last question before we head into segment three was I'm just, I, I mean, you've, you've hit on it and talked about it, but the whole spicy lady productions and entertainment, there's so many facets of you, like your cosplay. Uh, 
what are some of the things that inspire you to play a cosplay character outside of the aesthetic? Is it again what you talked about in the manga and also in the anime, like how compelling that narrative and that story is, or is it something else that you see like potential wise that you could bring out of this character and make it different than anybody else is doing? I think it's um my love for um dance. I like when you're dancing or you when there's a story behind a dance, you embody that character and it's you you go into a different place you know when you're doing that. So mm-hmm. I think like the cosplay is the same thing, right? But you're it's like you're just but you're it's like through modeling, it's through just how you think how you relate to that character. You see you taking that, those real bit rel- relatability factors of that character and putting it into yourself which makes for however you want to decorate that character. That's why I really love fusions. Cause I think people, that's like mm. one of the most creative things you can do, but um, it's just fun. You get to just dress up and, and pretend to be someone else, but still having sharing relatability to that character. It's not completely changing who you are and just having fun with it. Like I, um, all the characters I have, I relate to like miracle from my hero. Mm, um, yeah. I have Tanaka from Haikyuu. He's I, I love his. Oh, God, I love a great him. series, so but yeah, always. I, and I have I haven't had not I haven't worn that one yet, but just characters that like I see myself in or I appreciate, you know. So it's like it's it's just getting to be someone else and play play get to play as an adult. Like it's funny. that's true because we you lose so much <laughs> of, it, and I feel like that's where creators kind of tap back into that joy and that playfulness of the things they love and then presenting that. And I finished up Tepu and I, yeah, yeah, it was, it was, I wanted more. It felt like the ending was a little rush um, because I feel like she got to say what she wanted to say. But then when you saw it, especially with her brother coming and everything else, she didn't get to do it the way that she wanted to. And for me as a martial artist going through 30 years of like, there's a point in time just because like I was I don't feel like I, I, I pick up stuff pretty easy, but I'm always a hard worker. That's what my grandpa and my grandparents still to me and my mom as a single as a single mother. And so I like to attribute my success in sports and stuff to hard work. But there is a time where you get out there. And, and I think Buck was kind of present towards the end of my circuit. I had already I won I'm present now. <laughs> yeah. Well, like before before we met back up again, I had won. You know, and it doesn't it doesn't mean shit unless my cousin Josh is there. Those are the only good matches we had like going, but eight years in a row. And then I come back because I was like, hey, you, you guys didn't give me my jack. Well, you're going to have to compete again. So, all right, I'll not only be the vice president, but I will whoop ass at these tournaments. I won't take the trophies, but I'll get out there and I'll, I'll do it again. But at some point, it's like you guys aren't Mar. You're not training. Like, why are you guys so weak? Like, I don't do anything different than anybody else. And so now I have to make it my own deal to get competitors that I can actually get work with. And that's why I was like, you know what? I just need to start teaching more. I just need to train them up. Let me, let me go ahead and do that. Uh, don't, don't, don't roll the eyes. It would be cool. I'm Genkai. No, it would be cool. No, yeah. It would be cool if you start teaching more. You're hey, absolutely I've already, right. I've already you're, talked you're, to you. You're, you're so right on that. I've already man. talked because you said that, about this. Because you said that, that's the segue. Um, I've already <laughs> talked about it. <laughs> Segue. You do hey, need to start training hey, a lot some, more. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Somebody said something the other day when I had my crutch, and I was like, "Motherfucker, I you don't know how fast you would die." Like I I'm could, I saying. cut this some bitch off and give it to you, so you have an extra leg, yeah. and you still. I, I get my body gets out of shape daily because you decide not to train. You know the it's exercises. Your fault. It's your. You fault. know the workouts. The you reason why it's hard for me. Hey, Epo, walk up steps. Is do a hundred push-ups. You. Put this on me. Okay? Hey, I'm this putting that, I'm say, putting that put, on me. Set up some push ups, do them I, until you fall asleep. How about that? Look, I I went on when I was working out like a lot and reading a lot of fighting manga like mm. Tapu, I was doing the workouts. I would do hundred squats each night. I would do hundred hundred um yes. crunches. Oh sorry, Tama's I, over here. Like, sorry, Mama. I'm, <laughs> I'm psycho. That's why I relate to the character and Tapu because like growing up a lot of athletics came easy for me because I, yeah. I was just that kid, you know? So I related to like her mindset. I really liked to her, to her competitiveness and just boredom with like wanting a challenge because mm-hmm. it came so easily. And so when she, and then also to her brother where it's like, she looked up to her brother and her brother was like, damn, like, 
Yeah. Where do, where do I fit in now? Because now you're even fighting me. And so just seeing seeing that and seeing how, she, and also realizing um how she, where she stands with um the girl who she thought was going to be and just yeah everything, you know. But all the characters, I love her. Her coach, her coach was like, oh, this, she. She's sadistic she like me. Yeah, yeah, she was like this. <laughs> and then Soname <laughs> came out there and she used pure martial arts skill. Like, and I was like, dude, there is like, you get a lot, especially as a guy. And if you, wherever your training center is, like if it's in a, a wrestling gym or whatever, I'll do that. I'll try that. And you hit somebody in the solar plexus and they're on the ground trying to gas for air. It's like, I'm good. Let's go. Was she, was she, was she got that Boy. one that kicked his dome and his yeah. mouth was out? I was like, I was yes. like, she, she, yes, thank you, ma'am. Yeah. And, it, and all she wanted to do was help her brother and, like, just find something she was passionate about. And you see, like, everybody's kind of wheels turning. Which like, she's just a natural and she doesn't train. It's like, no, dude, it's like, she can pick this stuff up. You need to give her a challenge. And that's an individual deal that people don't understand unless they're in a specific setting. And you see, and it's sad because you see a lot of not only athletes, but especially the MMA guys and martial artists that are going like, I'm a five-time world champion. It's like, Nick, I'm drunk and I ate like two steaks and, you know, you beat me because everybody knows your name. They gave you an extra point at the end of the match. Like, that's yeah. your le- that's a world champion? Well, fuck that. Let me be a motherfucker from the street then. I'll take that title. I don't that's need to that- walk around with trophies. And I came like my love for want to learn Muay Thai and, you know, all that stuff because it's like, I just want to be able to defend myself. And plus, growing up, and sports, mm. you know, a lot of guys try you, so I'm just like, oh, yeah. nah, like I won't be able to defend myself. Those two cause a little, cause a little, cause a little trouble. You I, know? Like, just I'm, like, I'm gonna call it right now. If somebody <laughs> get too close, you headbutt them in the nose. I can guarantee you. Oh yeah, I look. I I took out and I read Kenya. I was just like, okay, so you do this, like, like, like let me <laughs> just have an idea in my head. But I just, you know, I love, I love it, and like I, I would love to see that series get animated. Oh like yeah, that would be beautiful. Very well, because there's a, a lot of different body builds and a lot of different just. And it would normalize body. how your body, because ch- again, yeah. they're they're different. Yeah. Women store fat differently than men. They build up muscle muscle different than men. So you have to showcase all that to be honest about where they are and the height I difference think, too. And I think she was overweight, right? They're like they need her to lose weight because she was yep. she wouldn't have had any matches. So because she was so tall. Compared yeah, to like yeah. six two or yeah yeah, was, yeah. so yeah I really love Tapu um, and that was that was a short series it was like thirty two chapters so you guys can catch yeah. up thirty thirty two thirty three you guys can check up oh, check, a catch up on too quick now if you like romance and fighting um I oh, recommend yeah. um say Tommy say Tommy what's her name Nataro son I'll I'll post it in my Twitter but okay. a girl she's Top top in her in her um division um and in her high school falls in love with this wimpy shrimp boy and they just grow together and fighting and it's so cute you know it's just because she's sweet and inside but she will whoop your ass and mm-hmm. he's just like he's just like look like you're too like important like I don't I, and she's just like I like you like it doesn't matter so it's like they're hmm. so cute like literally high difference is like she's like six four and he's like five seven like it's hmm. very much. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's like taboo, but with a love story and and wholesomeness stuff. But yeah, it's, See, yeah. I once you it. throw it up on Twitter, that'll be the next one I throw on my list because I actually went through Viz and like picked out six different uh, <laughs> titles to start reading now since I finished up Demon Slayer again. Which every time, like, I get to certain chapters, I'm almost like, bro, y'all are y'all are doing the Lord's work here. Um, <laughs> and we're we're gonna go ahead and continue to <laughs> keep <love> moving. <laughs> Keep moving to anime and manga of the month. So you guys will get that surprise uh, commercial thrown into the show. But uh, the anime of the month, let me go ahead and pull this up. This is one that uh, just made me laugh. It was a good one. It is the we're going to go ahead and watch the trailer right here that the Edaten deities only know peace. And basically uh, the deities have sealed away demons uh, several years beforehand, leaving behind one little girl. And the reason why is because her grandpa is one of the deities and it's her job to bring in the new deities and get them prepared to protect the world again whenever these demons come back. But they have lived in peace. They don't really know how to battle. So now that not only do they have to get prepared um, for their job, but also get mentally prepared to 
get back in shape basically that's that's what it is like eh, i don't really you know i don't want to do this i haven't done this why do i have to do this like you're just dealing with bratty deities that have a job but they don't really know how to fulfill it so on this journey not only do they find friendship family but they also have some comedy the the art is beautiful the story's beautiful and it's one that it just pulls you in. Now, the first thing that Buck said is he liked the art. That's what got me in. And then once I started watching, I was like, oh, this is just like um, um, Black Torch, which is a manga I read, which I hope that they uh, animate. But it's like, oh, the grandpa taught them something or actually the character in Black Torch, he taught him, but he didn't really know. And then you find out there's this Mononosuke, almost like uh, Demon Slayer, this Mononosuke corpse that takes care of all these Mononosukes that are out there and killing people or rampaging this series like how are we going to be the heroes we should be almost like an avengers a call to action so uh the idaten deities only no peace check that out that's on crunchyroll and brv um the next one that we have is uh, and it's funny that you hit on it our manga of the month yeah, is <laughs> dan to dan uh, when a boy into UFO collides with a girl into ghost, the universe will never be the same. And I love reading this every single time. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Momo is a high school girl who believes in ghosts, but not in aliens. While her classmate Okarin run, uh, Okarin believes in aliens, but not ghosts in a bet to determine who's correct. The two decide to separately visit locations associated with both the occult and the supernatural. Uh, Momo visiting the former and the boy visiting the latter. And when the two reach their respective places, it turns out that neither of them was wrong and both aliens and ghosts do exist. Uh, if you're looking at the screen, this is what it looks like. Again, bright colors and it's bright, soft colors too, whenever it comes to a, a color panel. But again, the artwork is very, very stylized and almost reminds me of uh, Shoha Shoken, Shonen, which is a comedy manga that just dropped, as well as um uh bakuman in some respects as far as the sh the shading and the lines this is uh, only 43 chapters a new uh, chapter comes out in 2 days you guys can viz media a dollar 99 a month we've been we've been they're not paying us this has been the spill you know since crazy? i need to i need to figure out my login for it cuz <sighs> Oh, you, you ever, since I switched the, ever, since, well, ever since i switched phones i can't figure out how ah, to how log right. into it and it's like every time I log into, they're like, "Well, this isn't the this. You don't have a premium." I'm like, "No, y'all, y'all just y'all just built me. That's what made me want to <laughs> log in." Because actually, because what's so cool? Everything I everything I read, you know, I get free because it's like the latest. You know, how they give you the yeah. free ones, so I don't be really like needing to log in. But when I see that dollar ninety nine, even though it's small, it's a easy reminder. Like, mm -hmm. hold on, I am paying for this yeah. service. Yeah. <laughs> I need to figure that out. How do you feel about Dan to Dan, Miss Lady? Man, Dan to Dan had me dying laughing, and any any comic that can do that to me, I'm invested in. Like it's 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 so funny. Um, I like the dynamic because she's like, I want a strong guy, like, ugh, and then she finds a guy saying, and she's like, Ah, oh, what you? Mm -hmm. and you just see them develop their friendship, and you see him slightly change, and just. And the characters, the freaking um, spirits are hilarious. Like, like Turbo Granny is me. Mm. Like, Turbo Granny is. Turbo have have Granny you started so reading funny. Sakamoto Days? I have not. Everyone's telling me get on it. It's I assassin it. comedy. I, I yeah, and I'm I picked up um uh. Oh my God, what's the one with the guy who's like undead? Undead um, unluck. Uh, undead unluck. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Like, I picked that up recently, and I'm like, I'm kind of trying to ease into that so I can kind of get it off my list, too. But Sakamoto Days is definitely on that list, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to, like, break any of that down. That is really good. Um, I th there was one more that had, uh, oh, it's like Chainsaw Man as far as the world building, how, how your perspective yes. of the world changes as you find out more. And it's just, I've stuck with it every chapter, and it it just never really disappoints me. And again, folks, if you're listening to these titles, go out and read them. Uh, you're li you're listening to the experts telling you <laughs> what you'll love, whether it's comedy, whether it's action. In Sakamoto days, if you don't even really like the comedy, there's a lot of action and there's a lot of death. Like I, they're, they're not even going to pull the punches on it. It's like, yeah, like you thought Muzin was bad, and like let me show you, Sakamoto will do anything to protect his family. Like 
And uh, even though the family rule is don't kill anybody anymore because you're you're an ex hitman, sometimes the assassination skills have to come back out. So beautiful titles. Dan to Dan is great. That's our manga of the month. And then the eat to date and deities. No, only peace is the anime of the month. Um, we are at an hour 36 dude, of fabulous, beautiful, gorgeous conversation uh, with the CEO of spicy lady entertainment. You guys follow her everywhere Two YouTube channels, a Twitch page, all this, all of her information will is in the show notes in the description. So when this show drops this Thursday, all you have to do is click and I'll take you right to wherever Twitter, Instagram, you follow her and you will get anime comics, pop culture, uh, out the wazoo. I had the, I looked at my glass and I felt like Seth Rogen. So I was out the wazoo, you know, (laughs) which uh, shout out to Seth Rogen for, for coming out with some of his titles, but thank you so much for joining us. Like this was, yes, thank you. (sighs) Thank you for having me, man. This was, this was a lot of fun. No, you had, you had the gamer juices flowing. Like you like, I whip your ass. Don't just (laughs) turn it Yeah. I was, I was over here getting riled up. I was about to start saying some respectful stuff on the air just because like, of the the, the feelings but, start getting mm. to me. I'm like I'm used to it, you know, growing around, you know, we're we're brothers and stuff and cousins, guy cousins talking crap, you gotta you gotta back it up. And me, I I get quiet when I get quiet. Hey like, oh, you know, I ain't gotta say nothing. God, it's lady, dude. It's hey we we got to have the tournament. We got to have a tournament, Buck. <laughs> yeah, have an online tournament. Yeah, and like, remember guys, like this Saturday was a little bit different. We did a four um, four episode. I was going to say four hour, four episode stream. It was a marathon of Metabots. So if you guys don't know that 1993 classic Metabots classic. we watched today. Mm, beautiful. But usually at oh, 9. Oh, the 93 version? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the original. Oh, yes, Season yeah. one, baby. Where Meta Meta B was out there talking about what you call me a dummy, and then started shooting on his owner, shooting them like the, the, he's a robot. Oh. He can't shoot kids, but he apparently did. Um, normally at nine a.m. we have our Saturday come through theater. So if you're feeling like you want to challenge us, uh, you can come through and play any game. We just got off Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm this upcoming Saturday. Stone is going to go back to his house, and we're doing Dragon Ball Fighter. So spicy! If you want to join us, nine a.m. Central Standard Time for a few hours, you can come through and uh, just hit us up in chat, guys. Anytime that you're there, we play that. Uh, also, we got to get back on Jump Force since Jump Force has died. They they killed uh, it. We, still play, we can't play online, can we? I thought we just couldn't do any of the purchases. I think, I think online is done. Yes, that was the only saving grace. Played it to rest because there's there's store like I did like the fact they had a bald black man. They had their Sam Jackson as like the captain of the jump force. But hey, my God. boys are playing that one game. What's the what's the drumming game? Oh, um, Takio no yeah, Tatsujin. Uh, the and drum that makes master. You feel good. Makes you feel good when I see them. They're playing. Yeah, a good game for the soul. Hell yeah! Um, are there any other um, events that you'll be at, or any other things that you need to promote? Uh, go ahead and drop that now. Oh yeah! Um, when you go on my Twitter, Spice Lady ENT, click my uh, link tree, um, access to all my screen screen rant articles, as well as uh, my Twitch, uh, my Twitch, Spice Lady Gaming. Um, we're almost at 200 followers, which is like great. Um, Dope. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. My goal is to reach 10 subs, and uh, once we do, we're gonna have a watch party. So I'm excited about that. And um, subscribe yeah. to um, Spicy, Pro- Spicy Productions. Uh, you know, new content going away. Um, and yeah, just follow me on everything. All that fun mm. <laughs> now, are you doing the Dragon Ball Evolution watch party? I am, bro. When you told okay. me, I was like, yo, literally, I, I really had just done my stream the day before that. It would be fun to clown on this movie just, just for the heck of like, it. I, I, <laughs> like, I'll just rewatch it and realize it's actually kind of dope. No, 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 I think it happened. I, I like, I can guess. Uh, no, Piccolo, Piccolo looked like a cone head with some cheap ass green makeup on, talking about <laughs> hey, Gadoken. Hey, Goku, that- they had Goku go through high school crap. Like, this man wasn't in his school his whole He never went to school a no. day in his life. He was like, sliding on a car on his head, bro. And there's I'm no way. my hair i gotta gel my hair up no yeah we ain't doing this no. that was that was not the look uh, yeah we went I'm going, to, I'm going to be the one that's going to go into this super i know you are oh, i know because you don't remember you don't remember the hurt i, I experienced that's the issue i truly hey, only remember- you might want to bring some preparation h to that uh watch party bro 
we're gonna we're, we're gonna be clowning on it, so it's gonna it's gonna be fun because I like to clown on terrible movies. Like it's mm. it's it's fun to just pause, and be like, now what was that? Like what what did they? What was the studio thinking when they did this? Like they weren't. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> They no. was not thinking. They they were thinking a few years down the road, Buck was going to watch this. He's going to come in with bright eyes, and we're going to get to ruin his life again. <laughs> he might throw his kids out after he watches it. Nobody knows, but we'll be waiting in no, the in the shadows. No, uh, no. But yeah, dude, like follow, get her up to them subs, get her up to them followers, because we're out here providing you with audio What's gold. You, What's next thing you going live? Uh, today around seven or eight i have to get some work done but Bam. I, I, I wasn't able to stream yesterday so i really want to do it today so gotcha dope there we go <laughs> hey elijah let me plug my stuff in because no, i think good. i got I think the next clients up here blackest studios blackestudios.com um new website super stoked black studios on facebook twitter and instagram you can go follow the underscore buckety but guess what it's private so I'll, I'll look at your shit for a while but thank you thank you spicy so much for uh hanging out with me and elijah elijah much love to you. Uh, I'll probably hit you up when I leave out the studio because um, I ain't going to work tonight. So Hey, I know. I know. You, you know. He coming to work? Uh, is he there? Nah, oh, no, nah, I ain't coming. He, Elijah, the only reason I'm showing up tonight is because Elijah was there. That was it. He ain't here. Don't even look at me, bro. Don't even That's look facts. at me. And sorry. Well, I, all right, I, thank you. I'll take it easy. All right, see you, Buck. Bye. I had the uh, the JoJo's music going in the background, but my soundbar <laughs> disconnected, so I didn't want to cover up what Buck was saying. Uh, again, you can find Spicy Lady and Oliver. One, the the Twitter's right by her face. You just you just follow her right now. But all of her information is going to be in the description. This show drops on Thursday at midnight, and you will also be able to follow this on our YouTube channel, which you can click on the link on the channel page for Twitter or Facebook. Go there, follow. We're at 32 subscribers since our last YouTube got deleted. So we're rebuilding. Make sure. I know. I know. I've, I've, I've got a representative at YouTube now, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. But follow both of us on Twitter. Anything and everything you need to know about the Elijah Bailey Show, you can follow us on Facebook at our official Facebook page, Elijah Bailey Show. You can follow us on the Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Elijah underscore 5000. For those that are watching on Facebook, for those that are watching on Twitch, you can go to Edge Gaming. That's at EJB Gaming, Edge B Gaming. Also send your emails to Elijah Bailey Show at gmail.com. Uh, if you don't like sending emails, which I understand, just simply subscribe, rate, and review on any podcast platform. Podcoin, you can actually go and listen to the show and it'll give you credits to use to buy certain things you're yeah for for all of my my starbucks drinkers you can get starbucks you can get amazon prime you can get uh, xbox all these different cards you can use but we're on apple Podcasts, spotify pandora iheart radio anywhere that you can find podcasts we are there but you can always go to blackerstudios.com to find this and my other podcast a little bit of anime where we talk exclusively anime every single week whether it's the a uh, little bit of lunch on tuesday and thursday at noon or it's our watch parties on wednesdays or the show at 6 p.m on wednesdays again thank you so much for coming on the show this has been amazing um thank you guys so much but we will catch your ass in the next podcast peace up everybody elijah 5000 here me and the bucket appreciate it so much that you download this show each and every week again we drop every thursday if you're new to the elijah bailey show go to apple podcast podbean or spotify or wherever you listen to this auditorial pleasure that you get weekly and just subscribe rate and review thank you and i'll catch your ass in the next podcast